So today I'm working on the upper bunk bed. I had this pre-built from a previous project I was working on and it's basically a bed frame with these slats and I decided I'm not gonna go that route this time because I wanted it to be a lot more simple and easier to get around. So I'm gonna do joists across just using two by fours. Then I'm gonna lay this maple sheet that I got on top. So it'll be a nice flat surface for the bed area instead of having all those slats and stuff to deal with. I think it'll be a lot better and I'm gonna do that same idea on the lower bed as well. Today's video is sponsored by Nobody. Does it sometimes feel a little too peoply outside to you? Or perhaps you simply need alone time to give yourself that recharge you've been craving? Try Nobody. Nobody is the all natural solution to the stresses of having to deal with other people. Oh, hi there just working so i got the far side on i'm gonna do this other side next all right so this thing is way sturdier than our home bed so I'm super stoked to have this framed out nicely. And if you can see, these are kind of running at an angle out because I'm kind of maximizing the width by mounting it to the side of the van. So I just figured I'd run these at an angle so everything's nice and sturdy connected to the side of the van. I think in order to not waste a bunch of wood, I'm gonna need to do two pieces to fill in this. I had to do two more pieces because I didn't wanna waste any wood. Good to go. You guys excited? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Now it's time to start working on the floor. I'm gonna use this uh, Rubio Monocoat, which I really love. I use on some of our vintage furniture. This is a two part, so this is the oil, and then this is the hardener. This is a zero VOC, and this is just the pure oil. There's no tint to it. And I'm gonna put this on this maple. I sanded this to 120. Should be sufficient. This oil does a really good job coating everything and you really are only supposed to do one coat of it. So I've sanded this already and cleaned it. Welcome back. So today I'm working on the floor and I decided I'm gonna do cutouts for the vent holes. I'm just gonna drill individual holes. Here it is. So I just sanded it down. Boom, now we have a vent cover. And also, by drilling it like this, Legos and certain other toys will not be able to fall through these. Now let's go test this out in the van. Pretty sweet. I got the flooring in and the holes cut out here. I'm gonna start working on building the lower bed here. So I've got the lower bed cut out, setting in there nicely. I'm gonna now cut right about in here, then put hinges on and be able to flip this top that way to allow for a walking path when we're driving. All right, so the solution I came up with for the folding portion of the bed was, so this is the panel that's gonna fold on hinges and then essentially these legs are just gonna be able to fold out and lock into place using just very simple uh, three inch hinges. All right, let's check this out. 
the next thing I've just built for our 26 gallon water vessel. So now I'm gonna cut this countertop down and I'll take you inside the van in a second to show you exactly where this is gonna go and then our game plan to allow room for my wife's dry goods. Right now I have the cooler propped up on two by fours to get it off the ground so then I can set this exactly where I want it height wise so that once I mount this to the back wall and I'll pull those two by fours out and then it will give the cooler an inch of space to be able to slide the cooler in and out when we go to access it. So today I'm starting out working on this countertop. I started sanding at 120, went 150, and then 220. Might go to 320. You know, the smoother the surface, when you go to oil it, it's gonna be easier to protect the wood. So we'll probably use like the mineral oil or something that's very natural and food safe. So as I'm working on the countertop area where we're gonna put some jars, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple jars to kind of figure out the template. I'm trying to figure out if I have room to do a second tier. I think I should. So I'm back working on the cabinet area and have it pretty well finished up. Have the showing set up, have some side walls to kind of keep everything in there. We'll probably be able to hang some little stuff. And this was a pretty cool thing. So I had this spot for the cooler and I had some scrap leather from our furniture business. So I cut this uh, belt strap and then went ahead and punched some holes so that as it stretches out over time, we'll be able to keep it tight. Hey Bubs. Hey How are you? All right, so I'm working on putting a shelf in on the kitchen cabinet. I'm just about finished <clears throat> with the whole kitchen area and just water vessel too. I'm working on. You think I'm talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> spirit of keeping things pretty minimal I'm going to just run another leather strap it's a beautiful morning here at live thrive build and we're just finishing up the build out on our van my wife put a basket up here so I mounted it to this two by four thanks for watching this has been the conclusion of the van build however as we've already been hitting the road some we have begun making some minor changes be sure to subscribe to our channel follow along on our adventures we'll be posting some funny stuff and some in between journey stuff but also some minor changes we made to the van on the road until next time keep living thriving and building <laughs>